You're listening to the Youngpreneurs Podcast, the number one resource online for under 35-year-olds, where we chat twice a week to the most inspiring entrepreneurs in the world. We have it all. If you're looking for inspiration, guidance, or actionable tips to help you transition from that job into a business, or if you're ready to take that business to a whole new level, then this is the place to be. Get ready to live life on your own terms. Young Preneurs Podcast episode number 138 with your host Victor Ahipeni. What's up world, another day, another podcast and today I'm going to be talking to you about push versus pull marketing. But before I do that I'm going to push you in one direction over to iTunes to make sure you subscribe and leave a rating and review because I'd love to hear what you think about the show and it helps get this message out to more young entrepreneurs just like yourself looking to live their life on their own terms. Now if you enjoy these shows I have over 130 seven different interviews and I guess thought provoking conversations of either just myself or amazing entrepreneurs from all around the world that you can check out at passiveincomeyoung.com and you can listen to them you can find all the links contacts helpful hints as well as being able to grab my four video series on how you can create a business for zero dollars so what is push and pull marketing this isn't going to be a long session but what it is it's going to be very very powerful i was walking down the street the other day and what i found was there were some people um, trying to get me to donate trying to a get my attention and then have a conversation with me and then get me to sign up for yeah, a monthly uh, charity gig where you give money out to charities. Now, I've got nothing against these. Um, personally, I won't ever do them because I prefer to know what percent goes exactly through to the charity. And I know that these people are obviously doing a job to make a living. And it means not enough dollars of my uh, hard-earned cash is going to the charities that I want. But that's fine, you know, uh, without those people there's millions of dollars that would never get made and get to charity. So yeah, I think they're doing a alright job. And the re- I'm not talking about how they're doing it, or I mean I'm not talking about the, the overall plan or the overall ethos of the business. What I'm talking about is push versus pull marketing. So if you have a think about where a lot of marketing is going these days, it's heading towards the pull marketing and it's heading away from the push and what I mean by that is push is you can imagine things like going into a store and then a salesperson coming to you and you know how can I help you and that's fine they're helping you they're adding a service or you know there's a person spruiking things or you go to a seminar and it's really push 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 Uh, and whereas that is fine and good and works and has worked really well and was the only way that things could really really work in the past but now what you can see is there's a thing called pool marketing and basically I've talked about the know like and trust method where you get people to know you like you and then once they trust you they will purchase from you and at the same time there's problem unaware to problem aware to problem uh, to solution aware and that's when people will be more likely to purchase off you. And so what I've been learning over the last week or two is this in a bit more of a deeper method and it's by a guy who I've been following by the name of Scott Oldford and hopefully I'll get him on the show shortly and basically what he's created is a marketing method called, he's called it the SSF method so it stands for sidewalk uh, slow lane fast lane and basically he creates different sales funnels Uh, all targeting towards the same product so he's not trying to I guess uh, yeah let's say in a hypothetical world he's not trying to sell blood pressure tablets to someone who doesn't realize that they've got high blood pressure so he's got sidewalk which is people who don't know anything or know very very little about your product and these are people that you have to put in the time to educate and inform them and what I mean by that is you may, if we're using the blood pressure example, you may give them um, yeah, five signs and symptoms that you may have high blood pressure in there. That makes people problem aware. But yeah, the next stage, and this is about finding out where your audience is hanging out and being able to market to them effectively. And yeah, I'm not going into super depth here, but basically the next stage is you transition them so they're product aware and they might just start 
following you at this stage or following your information, your website, your blog, your Facebook page, your podcast, your YouTube channel, whatever it may be. So you've made them aware of it and then what you're trying to do is then add value to them. So they're in that they move so it's about figuring out which lane people are in. So they're in the uh initially they're in that sidewalk and then you're putting them into that slow lane once they're into that slow lane then you can start adding value to them so it's not the full-on value that people only still don't know you that well so that might be facebook posts or videos or podcasts that you put out that offer or you know um, you know, a different video series or whatever it may be that offers them a lot more information so they become more educated about the solution so you the first place is you're really educating them about the problem then you're educating them about the solution and then when people get to a a boiling point that they've been educated about them then they go into the fast lane and that's when they're ready to purchase off you so then that's when you can go a lot more in depth about it you can talk about the issues that come across with high blood pressure you can talk about the implications of lifestyle and health and blah 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 and yeah these all tie back to your solution and when people are in that fast lane they're a lot more educated they are ready to buy off you because they know that you've handled a lot of their ob- objections you you know they've said oh, I don't have the time and you object that I don't have the money and you've already come to a lot of those things and that way you can get people want to say a webinar or a sales page or a phone call or in person at a seminar and they're already really really aware of your product and they're more selling themselves they've sold themselves on your product rather than the flip side and so that's where I think it's really important rather than what I see a lot of people doing and I you know I put my hand up and I'm definitely in that category that in the past I've gone to try and market say a webinar to people who weren't problem aware yet they weren't solution that yeah they weren't even aware of the problem let alone aware of the solution so it really helps me rethink about a lot of the different marketing that I'm doing is you know I've got to take people through this journey and what it's going to do is when you get people into that fast lane your conversion is going to be through the roof you can get your ideal customers the people know what they're going to expect you're going to get less kind of refunds and kickbacks and all these different things so super super powerful stuff so follow scott oldford on facebook um, or the ssf method i think his other business is called invictus or in something like that um, but it's it's a, he, he puts out very very good content when it comes to online marketing in particular he's a really well driven uh goal orientated young entrepreneur i hope to get on the show we had a show lined up and then the times just uh, didn't work out for the both of us so we have to reschedule that and then hopefully we can dig super deep into that but what i want you to think about and your takeaway is what things can you change in your business or what things are you currently selling in your business and how are you educating your audience how are you taking them through a journey from problem unaware to solution aware so that they want to just be ready to buy off you they're they're in that fast track and uh, that fast lane and they are ready to purchase off you hope you got some takeaways out of them jump over into our facebook mastermind young entrepreneurs mastermind on facebook absolutely free got hundreds and hundreds of awesome young entrepreneurs in there and i hope that you can join them and make sure you jump over uh, and like the Young Preneurs Facebook page as we have all heaps of awesome content that comes out there daily. So in the meantime, guys, keep living life on your own terms. Thanks for listening to the Young Preneurs Podcast. This was proudly brought to you by the Podcast Institute, the number one training resource to take your business from chasing leads to leads chasing you and from an absolute amateur to a full blown authority. If you are looking to take your business to the next level, then a podcast is the obvious answer. You can get national and global exposure in a very fast time and it's just exactly what I've done with this podcast. So if you want to find out more, get a checklist on how you can get started for under $60 and to find out more through a small training video that I've prepared for you all, then please check out PassiveIncomeYoung.com forward slash podcast training.